For Sheffield postman Tony Ingle, the peaks provide an escape from city life. Last summer, he saw something that he couldn't explain. Took the dog up the lane for a walk, got so far up, and then... Uh, and it was very, very eerie. The, the propellers were going around, but there was no sound. And it was dipping all the time, as if it was getting lower and lower. And uh, I thought, crikey, this thing is going to crash. And as I looked over the edge, I thought I'd see the plane. There was no plane. So I just looked, and there was just lambs and sheep in the fields. The best way to describe it was as if someone had died and he'd moved into a room, and it was just like death. It was terrible. It was a very eerie sensation, not very nice at all. And since then, we've tried to get him up the lane, and he just won't have it. He'll just cower down at certain areas, and uh, you've got to visibly pull him up. And we've tried it with me, myself going up the lane with a dog, my wife going up with the lane with a dog, and friends, and he just won't have it. Come on! Was Ben displaying evidence of the sixth sense that many animals are believed to possess? A few Dakotas are still flying today. Maybe that could explain what Tony saw. Well, we've got 11 Dakota aircraft, and therefore that makes us certainly the largest Dakota operation, civilian Dakota operation in the world, in fact. And we checked into the flight time details that you gave us, and we found that none of our aircraft were airborne, let alone in the area that you specified on the time in question. The only other British Dakota that could have been flying at the time belonged to the RAF. It was airborne that day, but 150 miles away. So no Dakotas had been flying in that area at the time of Tony's sighting. But one had crashed there 50 years earlier. Verena Bishop from Sheffield had her own strange experience in 1994. It was a Thursday afternoon in March. I was walking from Hope along the Castleton Road. Something made me look up into the sky. The wing must have been directly over my head because I just saw the fuselage. And I thought it's going to crash. I had to duck, it was so low, I thought it's going to hit me. It just skimmed over the fields and about the second field disappeared completely. So I thought perhaps there's a hollow in the field that it's gone down there. However, I waited for an explosion, but nothing happened. In fact, a plane had crashed in exactly the same spot 51 years earlier. Farmer Joe Eyre saw it go down. I was taking a load of coal up to a farmhouse. Apparently, the plane crossed a cement works quarry exceedingly low, and it must have come in a straight line and plunged straight into this bank and blew up. There are still hollows marking the plane's impact. Five airmen have been on board a Wellington bomber flying from Wellsbourne, Mountford, near Stratford-upon-Avon, in 1943. But Verena Bishop had no idea a Wellington had gone down in that field. When I heard about the history, I was amazed to find later that there had been a crash in exactly the same spot as I'd seen it. It was quite eerie, having had that experience. The B-29 crashed in November 1948 on Bleaklaw, which is the biggest hill at the back of Glossop, 1,600 feet above sea level. These chaps from Birmingham who do this kind of thing in Snowdonia got in touch with me. She said, can we come up and can you show us the wreck? I said, yes. So they came up and uh, I took them up to, this, up to the B-29. They found one of the crew's watches smashed. And it had stopped at 10.50 the time. One of the lads said, whereabouts did you find the ring? And I said, here, and I kind of bent down to show him the exact spot. And the next thing I looked up, and they were kind of 10, 15 yards away. And, and they just scarpered off them more like, like scared rabbits. Where are you going? They were just ashen-faced and left me there. And it's quite away from the road. When Gerald caught up with them, they told him what they'd seen. I said, what are you doing there? They said, Believe it or not, there's someone standing behind you looking down with, with full flying uniform on. Hey, what's up? And I turned around, obviously, and saw nothing. And they said, hey! well, we've seen it, we're going. And they shot off the moor. Thanks for bringing us, and they went. 
and I've never heard from them since.